Greetings and welcome to Spell Sword Cards Dungeon Top. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, huge thank you to One Up Plus Entertainment for giving me the key to play this game for you today. So this is kind of a funky mix of different genres. We have a roguelike deck building card game uh, with tabletop battles. It's kind of funky. We have the ability to choose a hero and then we go through a dungeon with building a deck uh, as you would in deck building games, taking away cards, upgrading cards, all kinds of things like that. It really appealed to me uh, in initially because uh, I really liked Slay the Spire a lot. And I thought, oh, let's check this out. So we're going to check it out. So I've played the tutorial. I've played a couple of games on my own. We're not going to play the tutorial in this introductory video here. We're just going to start a new hero and hopefully I can explain the mechanics as we go along. So we have um, 31 money. That's how much I have. <laughs> I have earned from the world. Um, and then, oh, we have Allegiance. Oh, we have the Hand of Karim and the Guardians of Helm. So I played with the Guardians of Helm, uh, an aggressive archetype that focuses on bursting down your opponent before they get a chance to retaliate. I can confirm that we have several different kinds of of, uh, of minions here. We have like uh, the helm guide. They can move and act immediately when summoned. This is the uh, slingman, which is kind of like a ranger. You put him out and he can shoot things from afar. Then we have uh, pikemen. The first time an enemy uh, moves or is summoned onto an adjacent square per turn, attack it once. And then we have the helm scrapper. Add one power to itself and adjacent units con you control. So if you're familiar with, um, oh, what is that game called? Oh, uh, no, my brain is stopping. Hearthstone is the name of that game that I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, um, it adds uh, damage or power to uh, adjacent cards. Anyway, you'll see how these cards kind of come into play. We have a Rager. Uh, each turn power increases by one. And then we have different weapons. We have a Javelin, which you can kind of use for anywhere unless it says otherwise. And then we have a Shield spell to help block. Um, and then I haven't looked at the Hand of Karim yet. Uh, maybe we should look at these as well. We have a dash, which is kind of nice. Gain extra moves each turn as indicated. Uh, predator, attack twice if the defender has less power than you. That's quite tasty. But then the power is only two. Though I guess you can uh, upgrade that. We have the um, Karim Feld speaker. Let's see. Uh, when a minion is sacrificed, gain one power. Wow, destroy a minion as specified. Well then, Worm Food Legionary. Summon a copy without this effect in place. Interesting. Last word. Okay, so that's the last word. When they die, that happens. And then we get two of those. Crag Burster. When this minion dies, knock back two on adjacent units, not large heroes. Well, then I'm really tempted to try this set of cards because I haven't tried these yet. All right. Uh, faceless initiate range two minions destroyed by this minion count as sacrificed. All right. Interesting. Cool. Uh, here we have a king priest. When summoned, sacrifice an adjacent friendly minion and summon a meek servitor. Well, then, do we know what the meek servitor is? I don't think so. I don't know what those are. That, that doesn't sound great. They don't, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of torn between these different ones because uh, I know this deck and I think I can represent it better uh, than possibly the other one. We also have a different class. Now, I must uh, emphasize that this is coming out into early access in a couple of days. So this is not a finished game. Um, so I'm wondering if the, we will get more hero types because right now there's only the warrior and the mage. But um, I don't have enough uh, money to unlock her just yet. So I think we'll play the warrior and then we'll just use this deck that I'm quite familiar with so that I can hopefully give you a, a decent idea of what the game is like. So let's create our hero. hero. Um, a brave new hero enters the dungeon. By what name are you known? We could be Brognir the Berserker, but I'm going to be Catherine the Viking because I have been dubbed an uh, honorary Viking. I have my own axe and all the... The, the hat with horns and all that stuff by, by genuine Vikings. It's all good. Okay, the den. Things nest here that have not seen sunlight for centuries. The stench of waste permeates the stale air, and your eyes take time to adjust to the light. 
As you peer into the darkness, the food chain of the dungeon plays out before your eyes in real time as a blind rodent is snatched into the darkness by a pale green hand. The rat's last squeak is silenced by an echoing crunch. Well then, that was tasty nice. Okay, so the dungeon is uh, randomly generated every time we come in here. This is a roguelike. We have three sealed doors. This is the at the entrance of the dungeon. And we're kind of tasked with getting out of here. So we can move from room to room quite freely. Uh, and then we have a uh, obviously a symbol here which indicates an enemy. We have a goblin shaman. Level 1 XP 15. So we can look at the Goblin Shaman and notice their very nice green skin and white hair and, um, and read about them. Even the lowest of creatures inspire the goblins. And we can look at their deck. That's quite important. So we can see their abilities. Okay, so they don't have any special powers. Power 2, hit points 14. Okay, uh, the Goblin Rabble. Minion unit block one negates all damage suffered in one instance. Remove this effect at the start of your turn. Okay, so I guess they get one block and then after that they're unblocked. They only have uh, one power and one uh, hit point, one HP. Uh, and then we have a goblin rat totem. Give your minions plus one plus one at the end of your turn. Now, unlike Hearthstone, when you attack... Um, you are attacking the other party and you attack them, but they can't attack you back. Uh, so you don't lose any HP when you attack them. Well, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Okay, with this our starting hand, select any cards you wish to redraw. The remainder will be kept. I like them all. They're fine. So let's keep them. That's just fine. We don't have a lot of interesting cards in our deck yet. Um, so we're just going to do that. Um, all right. So... Each unit, uh, we can, you know, hover over each one and it tells us how much power they have, how much hit points. Um, and uh, what we're allowed to do is usually on the first turn, when you place a card, they're not allowed to do anything, as we'll see soon. But your hero is. Your hero, I'm Catherine the Viking, even though I have a beard today, it'll be fine. <laughs> we're allowed to move in um, cardinal directions. We're not allowed to move diagonally. So when we hover over our symbol, we can see, we can move either up or to the left. And we can move one time and then take one action, which is usually damaging the opponent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move up. Uh, actually, no, I think I will move. No, I'll move up, it's fine. That will be just fine. Okay, and our move is up. We can't take any action because we can't hit the goblin. But what we're going to do next is we're going to start to place our units. So when we place a unit, it has to be adjacent to our original unit. Now, the reason I moved this first is so that we can get closer to this one and then just be able to place the units down. And what I'm going to do is, you see he's asleep. The, the slingman is asleep right now, uh, so we can't move them at all. So we're going to put down the helm guide down here, the bald guy. And uh, I like that he's very distinctive. Now, there's a couple of cards that kind of look similar, and I wish they looked a lot different. Um, but we're going to take him. See, he still has one move and one action. He has haste, may move and act immediately when summoned. So I like this card a lot. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and attack the Goblin Shaman for two. Okay, and as you see, the Shaman cannot attack us back. Uh, that's They have to do that in their turn. And I'll go ahead and put the other Slingman over here, and then we'll end our turn. It's kind of interesting. I, I don't know if I like this effect or not the whole, but it does show you what's next, so why not? Now, we do have something called Mana over on the left here. Uh, and some of the spells, spell cards that you get will use mana. Um, and if you discard a card into the pile on a, uh, just manually, you will get more mana. So then what do we got here? We have, um, we have these guys will block the first hit. So we got to remember that. That's not ideal. We do have, let's see, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to block here. 
and then move back so they don't attack our hero because the hero is the more, most important character. If your hero runs out of HP, you die. Like, you have to start the whole dungeon over again. So that's not ideal. Um, then, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this goblin guy for three. Then move back. And then I'm going to put down the helm guide here but before I attack I'm going to use our helm scrapper this is the one that gives one power to itself and adjacent units so I don't actually care if she dies to this guy because she's then improved our hero and improved our helm guide so let's attack this guy now boom all right um and then we can't move but I can take this person here and attack you boom now then we also have a pikeman um i think we can put maybe here maybe there this one has to move to attack us uh so that should be all right let's go and end the turn then all right there oh ow that's okay though it's okay we haven't died yet it is fine uh, right, so now we have two different spells. This is great. Um, these do not use mana. They do say if they do use mana, but this one applies one block to a friendly unit. I don't know if we'll actually need that right now. Um, I'm going to take my hero and kill this goblin here. And then, who do we have? A pikeman. I'm not sure where I should take this one, actually. I want to move this guy here. Ah, oh, this goblin guy is not in range yet. That's a shame. But what I can do is I think this goblin shaman is going to go for this unit. So I'm going to put the shield on him. And then I think I'm going to take this one and guard my hero and then attack the rat. And then we'll put this pikeman here in anticipation of the goblin maybe moving down. We can take this javelin. Now, javelin weapon cards um, are sorted out. Oh, we can't actually sort them right now. I think those are sorted on the dungeon floor out of the battle, which kind of makes sense. It's like you can't go rummaging for your equipment while you're standing fighting people. Anyway, um, some of them say that you your hero has to be adjacent to the... Uh, the enemy, but this one doesn't. So we're just going to throw a pike in his direction and he's down to 7 HP. All right. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I was right. He attacked this unit here. So, but we're in... We're not in that much luck, apparently. <laughs> yes, we are, actually. Yes, we are. Okay, so there's this unit. This is the Rager. Uh, each, turn, each turn power increases by one, but we don't need it. We can attack with this one, and we can attack with this one, and we can, yep, and be done. We're done. Yay! Victory. Loot. All right, let's look at our loot. So we can click on cards to turn them over. The first two are free. Three for elite. I have no idea what elite means. Um, and each additional card you turn over will cost a flare stone. Now, you're given three of these magical flare stones up here. Oh, oh, there's our free reveals that it tells us. Uh, we can look at a spell, minion, or a minion. Sometimes there's a treasure on the right-hand side, so keep it, uh, pay attention to that. Let's look at a spell and a minion. Okay, new spell. Um, read ploy. Take a friendly minion off the board and put it into your hand. I guess that's good for moving minions around but as this is a deck builder I kind of want to keep the deck as small as possible so I'm not really a big fan of this okay so here we have a helm brigadier may move and act immediately when summoned I like that knock back on attack push the defender backward as indicated yes please so make sure you click the uh, the card to keep it it has a green uh, glowy uh, thing around it so we're going to say confirm and it will discard that other card and we'll keep the one so now we have a blacksmith we have a goblin and we have a random event I think I'm going to take the goblin pack leader just to gain some XP here okay so we have a hundred percent chance to sneak away and um, we can come back later or we can fight let's look at the deck um, so we have wow gives adjacent friendly minions one power the amount of damage dealt during attack. Okay, yeah, 
Um, so that's not ideal. Goblin Rabble, again, they have block one, and then they do have a dagger throw. Deal one damage to two different enemy targets within range two. That's a bit scary. So that's okay. We're going to try to fight them anyway. We want to definitely get our XP up, get going here. Here are our card choices. Oh, this is great. This is very good. All right, we're going to keep all of these. That's fine. I guess I could have redrawn the pikeman. I'm not really sure how that works. The guardian, first time an enemy moves, or is summoned onto an adjacent square per turn. Attack at once. Okay, so I guess if it's moved into range, uh, they attack. All right, we're going to put the helm brigadier over here. Uh, and that's going to be great. They have haste. So you can move this unit up and attack immediately. Uh, and then we'll take the ranger or the slinger over there. And then we can take this person right there. And I think that'll do. I think that's fine. In turn. Excellent. All right. Ah, oh, darn. No. Okay, it's fine though. Now these have block. So, um... Let's see what we want to do here. We can do a couple of different things here. Let's see. We can do this. And take our pike. Hit that one. Take the block off of it. And then hit with our hero. Um, I'm thinking about taking this one here. And hitting it that way. This one, let's see, that has, it doesn't matter, I guess. We'll just take this one this way and then this way and then take that one there. Boom. And then we'll put this guy here and we'll just pen this guy in and like be completely just whacking at him. Now, who do I think that they're going to hit? Does it matter? Um... Who do we want to protect? I guess it doesn't matter between the two. They have both similar stats. So we'll just put the block on this unit there. So end turn. All right. Oh, the ow is real. Hey, that's not nice. All right, we're going to hit with this one. And then just two more and we're done. Boom. Now these early battles seem easy, but later on, trust me, there are some very... <laughs> Dangerous things. We have a weapon available. Let's look at this. What do we got here? Weapon power two. Darn it. I forgot to look at our weapons. Oh, here it is. Here it is. So we have a long sword power two. Um, I don't think we'll take that. I don't need it. Uh, it's not an artifact either. So I'm like, eh. Minion. Ooh, a upgraded helm brigadier. Tasty. Okay, we'll take this one. I think we'll take that. Yep, confirm. Okay, we've leveled up. This is great. So we have a talent system here. It's um, it's kind of interesting. The middle ones, you kind of go to the right on each of these tracks. And we can look at different ones. The middle one is gain one maximum amount of capacity applied immediately. I don't know if I'm that crazy about that. But um, you have different things that you can take here. For maximum HP applied immediately. I like this one. At the end of each battle, heal up 2 HP. And then we have gain extra move each turn as indicated. Um, other ones, ranged attacks, uh, gain penetrate. Hits all enemies in the same direction within range. Wow, that's crazy good. Maybe I'll take that. Uh, whenever a minute minion adjacent to your hero is destroyed, your hero gains one power till the end of the turn. Um, that seems to be more niche, I guess. Um, attacks with any melee weapon, no range, have cleave. We have one extra action every turn. Whenever your hero attacks, it gains one block. That's really good. Uh, units adjacent to your hero gain one power. Uh, removed if they move away. Then we have gain two protected at the uh, start of battle. Cannot be targeted by the enemy. Uh, and then we have dash two. So lots of cool stuff here. Really lots of cool stuff. This seems crazy. Crazy good. But I think what I'm going to do is 
the end of each battle, heal up two HP because that's kind of important for our survivability here. We have um, 11 out of 12 HP, so we're not even full up yet. We can go to the blacksmith, see what we can do. We can upgrade our cards here. So first one is free, my lad. Then we've got to barter for the treasures you find. Yes, indeed. So I think what I want to do here is... Did I take that card? I did. Okay, so that's this one. So we have actually two of these Helm Brigadiers that have been upgraded. So it usually just increases their power here. Um, do I want to upgrade one of these Slingmen, though? I think I want to upgrade a Slingman. Let's just upgrade one of those um, and call that good. Okay, and then if I try to choose another one, we can pay a treasure, but I don't think I actually have any treasures because it usually says, yeah, treasure in deck, I have none. So that's not ideal. Let's see, exit out of this. And then, um, yeah, let's see, exit my deck. Okay, yeah, we can look at all of these different things here. And I can confirm this is definitely a roguelike because things are different and are randomized because things are different. All right. You come across a strange statue embedded in a wall. Tendrils of pulsing red crystal expand from the diamond carving and out into the walls beside it. Uh, leave or take it? Okay. Gain a white dog statue, lose three health. I'm going to take the statue because we can replenish the health, I think. So this statue, it's a treasure, but it's also a minion unit. Enemies attacked by this minion cannot move on their next turn. That sounds pretty darn good, I have to say. All right, we'll take that. That's pretty good. Nothing in here. And then up here, we have a Goblin Scout level one. So you look at their deck. All right, so this one, just standard stuff here. Dagger throw again and Goblin Shield Breakers. All right, uh, we'll fight this. It hunts for victims. It will become one soon. Yes, it will. All right. You're playing first. All right, great. Oh, hey, how you doing, Dougie Dougie? Does this have? No, does not have any special thingy majingies. We'll keep them all. That's fine. All right, I'm going to move my person up here. Do we have anybody that goes first? Haste, you have haste. I will take you and your haste anytime. Um, let's put you there. Sure up and kill it boom oh wow oh whoops i forgot about the knockback all right that's fine um we're gonna put these other people in a line i think we'll put the doggy doggy here and then we'll put you there and i think that's good for us good good done done excellent okay so i want to kill i want to get hit this guy with the goblin um, let's go up and damage. Okay. All right. I think I have to hit this guy with this person here. We'll hit you there. Okay. Oh, we run out of stuff. We run out. Oh no. We're going to get hit, I think, here. So let's protect our hero. Or, well, we could have used the javelin. Maybe we should use... Yeah, let's use our javelin there. And let's also put our slinger here. So that if this one moves back to that square, we can kind of hit him with either one. All right, good deal. We're going to... Oh, no! No, 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 no! My slinger guy died. No. All right, let's go you hit. And then come back. What, did, what happened there? We got rooted. Ah, yes. Cannot hit other units. All right, let's put you here. You hit. And you can walk away, too. Isn't this great? You Do you have haste, too? Yeah, you got haste. I don't think we can really walk away. Well, actually, we can do this. Hit you there. We can go take you and hit you. And we could keep on doing this with all of our cars. <laughs> take them and then move them away. 
<laughs> it was good. Okay, we can have a potions tend to be quite good. What did we get here? Heal unit, you control up to five HP, consume. Right, okay. Remove this card from the deck permanently. I don't know if that means like permanently, permanently, or just from the current deck. I'm kind of curious to see the minions, but spells can also be quite good too. Let's go with a spell. Another block spell. Eh. All right, I want to take that one. Yeah, let's get the block. Block is actually quite good. All right, now we're off to a goblin war leader. Level two, XP 30. A glint of intelligence in this one's eyes. Or is it just survival instinct? All right, let's check him out. All right, when one of your minions is destroyed, gain one block. So we probably should attack the war leader first. Otherwise, the um, he'll gain block from his minions dying. We've got a striker. Uh, yep, gain plus one power for each goblin striker on the board. Wow, that's kind of dangerous. That's really dangerous, actually. Multi-strike can perform additional actions each turn, including attacks. Wow, okay. Sounds a tiny, tiny bit scary. Oh, I keep forgetting to look at the weapons. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh. Every time I think about it, I always forget. Okay, let's keep all of them. All right, let's move up. And the Brigadier has haste. So I think we're going to put the Brigadier here. And move you probably there. Attack. Put the doggy doggy there and we'll put you over uh do you have haste no i don't think so you're the guardian you know what i'm gonna put the guardian here just in case he summons a unit there we can probably attack instantly i think all right yep he attacked right there that was a good move all righty um wow take this brigadier I think and just go boom we really need to kill those gargoyle things because they are bad to the bone okay oh I should have attacked first because the block okay bad me bad bad okay take you and then we're gonna get another pikeman here and we'll take this one here and I don't think we can actually do much else I think all of these are just moves we've already done the actions for these so let's say in turn okay oh no the sadness is real all right but we're not doing too badly we he didn't wasn't allowed to summon anymore so let's just hit him with the stuffs we got boom and dead all right Wow, we're powering through this, but I, I assure you that is because I, I practice slightly. All right, we did get a treasure, which is nice. That's a free reveal for us. Draw one card, then put one card on the top of your deck. Um, that can be extremely useful. Um, we'll see what else we get. New spell. Exhaust a random minion in your hand and apply burn to a unit equal to the exhausted minion's power. Wow, that sounds quite good, actually. Okay, exhaust, remove this card from the deck from the remainder of this battle. I'm thinking that permanent other removal thing is probably really permanent. Um, burn, on attack, apply an effect on the defender. Each turn they take damage equal to the number of charges stacked. Not moving removes this effect. Well then, so that kind of... I don't know if it's that good, though, because... Uh, I guess it depends on how much attack they have. It could be quite good. We could try it. Let's try it. Do we want this treasure? Draw one card. You know what? Yeah, we do want it because it's a treasure. Uh, and treasures are worth money. So who do we have here? Helm Recruit. Minion Unit. Power 2, Hit Points 2. All right, you have no special abilities. You're kind of useless. I'm not going to take the new minion. So confirm and be done. Our Oh, we leveled up. Hooray. So we can either take, let's see, whenever a minion adjacent to your heroes, I don't like that one that much. I kind of want to get strong arm. Ranged attacks with any ranged weapon gain penetrate, but we don't actually have a ranged weapon at the moment. So we could do toughness. Gain four maximum HP. 
applied immediately. I think we want that. All right. And then we have a two-sided portal. What do we have here? A temple? Let's look at the temple first. All right. A pious devotee offers to purge your deck of impurities. Yeah, sure. Let's donate cards. First service is free. Then we'll exchange for the treasures you find. So we're going to try to choose our weakest members here. I think the pikemen are not... They're okay, I guess. Rager. Each turn increases by one. Because you want to be able to shuffle through your deck as fast as possible. I like these guys. Even though they're weak, they're like one-turn wonders, but they get it done on the first turn, which I think is really quite useful. Uh, I want to keep the, ra uh, the ranger people. I might get rid of one of these pikemen. Yeah, we'll take take the pikemen. Yeah, sure. Take, take one of those. All right. And then we have to exchange treasures, but we have treasures, which is kind of nice. Really nice. Um, should I do the other one? Pay one treasure. Or we can sell the treasures. That's another thing. There, there are places to sell treasures so that we get more of the gold. Um, and then we can buy a mage, which I think would be a kind of a cool thing to do. So let's just do this. Rem we remove the cards, go up here to the two-sided portal. A mysterious portal lays glowing in the corner of the room. One side you see a normal path, the other a darker, more dangerous route with more loot. Which side do you dare to enter? Okay, so on my, uh, I've always gone the normal path and in my, te uh, my test playthroughs, but we could try to go with a dark path. Mm. I don't know, I've, let's go normal. I'm kind of afraid to die. <laughs> I really am afraid to die. Door opened. As you step through the portal, you hear a screeching of gears and a deep rumble as the giant door to the next room opens before you. All right, so now we have a new way open to us. Level 2, XP 30, Lizard Mage. But that is going to have to wait until the next episode. I hope you have enjoyed uh, the playthrough so far. But I'm going to have to say goodbye until next time. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.